uh, yeah, so just um, a second follow-up video to the first one, just because I'm so close. I think I can make it into uh, into RTA uh, champion with this. Let's do it here. There's a lot of people playing today, just because it's going to reset um, against 42. Hopefully, I get a lot of points off this guy. So hopefully, um, it won't be a lot of lag. Uh, so let's do. I don't know. I don't really like playing against. Uh, I don't really mind playing against him. Uh, I guess I'll just go stick with Basar. There's really not a whole lot of units I mind playing against. Like I'll, you know, I'll, I'll play against a uh, a Vildred if I have to. Okay, we'll go with you and. Uh, Okay, so that's good. This is how you. Oh, well, that's weird. Um, so usually for teams like this, what I like to do is run. Uh, yeah. So let's go with. Uh, where is Charles? I like running Charles. And FCC. Okay, so I think what I might be hitting is going to be that there. So let's go with. Do I look like a pushover to you? Uh, this looks not that good on my end, but we'll see how this goes. Um. I feel like the little Queen Charlotte might be what I end up banning. Um, or obviously the Oxlots, I think. So let's see what he ends up hitting on my side. I think he's going to hit the SSB more than anything. Which is fine. He doesn't have any cleanse ability. A lot of people are running immunity on RTA, which is again that's fine too. Um, I've decided I've taken to running uh, Ayelas on my Dizzy. Let's put you here. Let's put you here. Let's put you here. Okay, this looks this looks fine. Um, I think he expected me to hit the Rowana. More than anything else, um, but I generally, like I mentioned, I think in a, in a previous video, yeah. So he's gonna S three here, which is fine, or uh, I think it's the S two. I think he's an S two here, which is fine. That gives me stacks. He's kind of forced to. If he doesn't, that'd be very interesting because his team isn't fast enough. Um, and Alencia's gonna go and wipe the immunity. Is he S three? Oh, so he's S three. I think he ran out of time. I think you should have S2 there, um, just because you wanted you'd want to boost your team forward. Um, but that's very interesting. Um, let's just get rid of all these uh, skill nullifiers, shall we? Uh, now let's put up our own skill nullifier. Yeah, I think he should. I really think he should have uh, S2 there. Um, but I guess he wants the like the maximum effect out of the uh, Rwana heal thing. Now he's gonna either his time is gonna run out like last time, which I think is what happened. Let's see if he goes, yeah, if he goes all the way to one, I think he's just gonna run out. Yeah, okay. He S one that time. I'm I'm still very confused as to what's going on here because I think what's gonna happen is I'm just gonna kill her, and there we go. So she's dead. Uh, and then she gets the uh, S2 here. Yeah. She's got 18k HP. The revive buff is fine. Um, she. Uh, uh, what's her name? Tenebria. I think he's just going to S3 Charles, um, which is also fine. He has to because. Right now, Rowana can counter SSB's healing, but um, 
SSP with an attack buff is not something you want to mess around with. And he resisted it some by some like miracle. I don't I have no idea how that happened. He's got like seven resistance, I think. Uh, so basically, um S Tenebra is gonna die here. Um yeah. Yeah, I don't know what's going on here. This person just trying to like lose on purpose. Oh, she didn't die. That's crazy. Yeah, it's very weird. I, I, I wonder if this person is just trying to lose on purpose because these. Okay, so here's the S3. I think he has another turn after this, so. Okay, he gets to go again. I think his. I think her S1 could kill him. Yeah. Okay. Which is fine. Again. Well, she doesn't have the S2. The yeah, the, the mind's eye is not ready, so let's not worry about that. Let's hit you. Oh, she's got a lot of resistance, so I think this Rana is decently well built. I have to say. Um, the S3, yeah, that's what you want to do in this situation. Uh, let's do. Let's just hit her. Three thousand. That's not bad. Um, but now, this person—it's like fifty-fifty. They're playing it decently, the way you the way you really should be playing it, and half like very strangely. Because he did a good job of like he s three'd the um. Charles up here, but she resisted, and I got the attack buff. But from then, he did a decently good job of keeping her from um, S twoing, which is basically what you want to avoid when she has the attack buff, because uh, the attack buff with her. Um, let's do. Is it you again? And then I think she, she might die off of this. Let's find out. Okay, she's dead. Oh, she didn't die. Which is okay. Um, let's hit you with this again. Okay, so she died. Came back. Should I burn this? Let's just hit her. No. Okay, I think she's gonna die again here. Do I get the S3 back? No, not yet. Come on, die, die. Oh, she's dead. Okay, cool. That's nice. Uh, so let's see how this goes. I don't know. I think that little Queen Charlotte is gonna give me some serious trouble. Uh, so now they don't heal off of this, which is nice. Uh, but here she goes. So I think she has her S3 up and she'll kill basically anybody she hits with it. Uh, yeah, she has S3. Uh, she's gonna hit SSB, I think. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, because I can use her now. Uh, she's got this, and I think that's gonna kill. Uh, what's her name over here? So she's dead. Basically, just these two versus uh, Little Queen Charlotte, which is I think fine. Let's just uh, hit her with this. Uh, she didn't. She resisted that, which is kind of weird, but that's fine. She doesn't have any healing. And she's dead. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, so that went out pretty pretty well. Uh, a lot better than I expected. I really think... I forgot who made that video. Um, was it Warball? I don't know. Somebody made a video. Um, I really do think uh, Sigurd Scythe is... Uh, it's what you want to run on Little Queen Charlotte. Um, you could run like the Durandal, which is fine. A lot like that person I think was running the Hellcutter, which is I think is also fine. But I think the sustain and survivability that the Sigurds gives you, uh, it's it's a little too hard to pass up on. Um, you can full heal off an S3 and then S1 just top to sustain you until you can S3 again, which is pretty good. Uh, we'll do we'll do this here. Uh, let's see. ooh ugh ugh. Let's see. Uh, 
That was a horrible first pick. I really should have gone with Dizzy. I was like, for some reason I had it in my brain that I could pick two characters. Um, and he took the Dizzy, which is annoying. Um, so let's do that. Let's do that. Yeah, we'll do this. Come on. Uh, I'm gonna go with him. Go with that and uh, CC. Uh, I don't know who to ban here. I feel like I'm just gonna hit. I'm gonna ban this uh, Arbiter Vildred. See what he has down here waiting. Okay, Crow. Uh, yeah, let's just see what that does. Okay, I lost her, which is fine. I think the reason he didn't get rid of the DJ Basar is because his, his Dizzy's on Ayala, so... Let's see if it is. Uh, see if I'm not crazy. Maybe I'm... Find out if I'm not the only one. Oh man, a Dizzy! That's a fast Dizzy, my... Well, that's not that fast. I guess that means it's not on counter, but... Well, uh, I've been wrong before, so let's go figure out what that was. Um... Let's just hit this, see if I hit anybody with this. I really should have waited for, um, like, um... What's her name to go, but this is fine anyway. So I got the crit. Ooh, I got the sleep. Okay, so she's gonna... Might, she might heal herself, I don't know. I think she has to, because a Charles S3 is just going to kill her. Yeah. Uh, I think I'm just going to do this. Uh, I'm, I'm giving Crow his S3, which is fine. Um, I don't know who he's going to hit. He's probably just going to hit the um, if any, the um, 20k HP. He's probably just going to hit the, uh, what's her name? Tenebria, if anything. Or, or maybe the Charles. Charles is a good choice, too. Um... He's hitting for 1200 damage. Charles has like 15k HP. Yeah. Which is fine, because then she. Hopefully, he'd be baited to use the S3. Okay, so he's S1ing. Okay, that's fine. Let's see if I can just, like, hit her with the S1 and she'll die. Okay, cool. Right, so there's that. She's gonna revive her, probably. I wouldn't see why she wouldn't. Oh, weird. Etika's went off, which means it's a two-turn cooldown now. It's good. Let's hit everybody with this. Let's hit you. Oh, of course, so that's just two for two. Well, she didn't get the AoE last time. So she's two for four, basically. Let's see if I can get the sleep on this. I didn't get the sleep, but I did decent damage. I think she's dead now, which is fine. Um, wow, that was like 11,000 damage. That's a lot. Uh, okay, so let's do... Let's hit you. Let's see if I get the stun, come on. Oh, we didn't. Uh, I don't know who he's going to revive here. He's probably just going to revive the Ravi, because there's really no reason not to. Yeah. Um, at this point, I think what he needs to do with Ravi is S3 um, Tenebria, just because she'll probably die in one hit. Uh, and then revive the Dizzy, which I think should work. Oh, he didn't even go for that. That's very interesting. Let's do this. <clears throat> See if I can get any sleeps. Did I miss anybody? I don't think I missed anybody. That's that's pretty crazy. And he's dead. Oh, he's got holy sacrifice, dude. These kids these days, man, I'm telling you. Uh, 
Ugh, that was infuriating. Uh, she has the S2. Which is fine. Uh, basically, he's just a hit him. Let's well, here's another one. Okay, so that's five. She's two for five so far. Again, I don't count the. Um, like when she gets hit when she falls asleep because it doesn't you can't proc a counter on that anyway so six she's two for six he's just gonna hit the they're just gonna focus him up which is fine she might S3 him at some point. Oh, there we go. S2. S1, I mean. I think I'm just gonna kill Krow with uh, her next. Okay, that's pretty irritating. Yeah, I think... Uh, who else did I have? I had Tenebria? Did I have... I forgot who my uh, other one was. Oh, that's very interesting. I was about to kill him. I guess I don't have to worry about that anymore. Um, he's gonna ask one him to try to get the. Um, oh no! Oh, very interesting. Resisted. I have to, like my DJ Basar has seven percent effect resistance. So it's always funny when, when he resists things. Let's just hit you with this. Of course she resisted. Okay. Wow, she comes back with no HP. I didn't know that. It's kind of weird. Uh, so even on the miss, this is going to do what it's uh, going to do. See if I resist any of them. Of course not. So I guess this is over at this point. Finally get the mind's eye. So I think thinking back, the Dizzy was not who I should have gone for first, right? Because um, she was going to be basically the point of having her there was I needed her to uh, feed me. Um, mind's eye stacks because everything she does is AOE. Yeah, I think that's that's what ended up uh, biting me there. And I'm dead. So you got it. Yeah, I was like, weird. Uh, yeah, so I think that's what it, the main thing was. Um, I had Charles, yeah. That's who I had. I think if I had a FCC there, I forgot what they banned. Was it the FCC? It might have been the FCC. Um, I think if I had FCC there, this might have gone a little better. Uh, just because the Senior Beer wouldn't have died so easily. Uh, 79. Rank 79, which is 4 something. I think this is it. I think I'm just going to go with this. Um, like. This 40 minute session, you know, or 50 minute session, the last one was like 50 minutes. I think I'm gonna go with this like 40 minute session. If, um, if I can't make it into a champion, then I'm just gonna leave it be, because I don't really, like, I. The, the one thing I hate about playing this game the most is gonna be um, RTA. Well, I hate playing most of the stuff in this game, but uh, RTA has is particularly sore spot for me. Uh, da -da -da. What to do, what to do, what to do. Um, well, I guess I'm gonna go with... Uh, where's... we're gonna go with you. 
And uh, go with the. Uh, let's go with you. Uh, we'll see. So again, so let's. Uh, he, he can, he's going to pick four, and I'm going to pick two more. Rowana would be an interesting pick here because uh, obviously Alencia has a second proc on her her thing, and then um, whoa, that's interesting. I actually want to see what's going on here. Uh, I think I might just hit the Charles, depending on what he picks later. This is pretty interesting. Oh, well, maybe her. We'll see how this goes. Pick Dizzy. And I'm gonna go with, uh... Where are you? Here she is. Go with, uh, you. Okay, I think I'm just gonna get rid of the Charles. Ooh, that's interesting. Um, let's just hit the Charles anyway. Let's see what I get. Okay. Oh, you go here. Uh, we'll put you here. Let's see how this goes. Um, I don't foresee good things coming out of the um, the regular Acades. She has like a loop where she just doesn't die and she just sits around irritating you to, uh, to death, basically. Just hit this. Strip everybody. Okay. Uh, let's just hit this, make sure uh, we have some decent survivability here. Uh, so problematically, um, Tenebrio is going to go unchallenged here. Uh, her S3 hits everybody, so that's going to be a huge pain. I really should have gone with something like... Um, I should have gone with something more... Uh, that could cleanse, basically, is what I mean. Uh, let's see this. 16k. So this is what this is, this is a good build here. She's got high um, HP, and she hit basically most people here. She's got high HP, which is you want her to survive because like she gets a lot of damage from speed uh, and defense break and the self attack buff. So you don't have to like build her huge damage necessarily. You can sacrifice some of the damage for um, a decent amount of survivability. So I like that build. Uh, we'll see uh, if it ends up being the uh, superior build here. Wow, that's a lot of damage. That's what I mean. See, it's like... You don't need so much damage if you're running around uh, defense breaking everybody all the time. I don't know who he healed there. Uh, everybody is... Let's just hit him with this. Okay, so let's give everybody defense buff. Especially because like, I don't have a healer, so like the damage on my uh, MLCC is permanent. Um, which kind of sucks, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, let's hit you. I really miss the... Um, Abyssal on my Dizzy because now she doesn't stun anybody like Abyssal makes it so you like stun 50% of the time And then if you take it off you never stun anybody on her S1 uh, It's pretty irritating if you ask me, but you know, it is what it is uh, So I think at this point he's gonna S3. Yep, S3 Full heal uh, then S2 maybe uh, I think she can S3 again yeah, I think she can, yeah. Okay. So this is what um, her exclusive equipment lets her do. She S3s into S2 into S3 into S2. Um, basically meaning uh, she counters any debuffs anybody has for anything. Uh, which is pretty irritating, but you know. So she's going to S2 again uh, on herself. Yeah. Um, let's see. So I really should have uh, brought... Um, healing into this match like as soon as she picked her I should have had the foresight to like bring a healer into this because 
Otherwise, stuff like this happens. Uh, I might, I'm probably gonna miss. I didn't miss, and I got the defense break, so let's see if she kills her. Okay, so hopefully... <sighs> he didn't go. Um... Oh, she's she's not gonna die. That's pretty irritating. Uh, he's gonna kill CC. Yep, that's fine. He burned. He wasted a soul burn on that. I think it's a waste. I, I wouldn't have done that personally, but we'll see how this goes. Okay, so he attacked her, which is good because now she got the mind's eye. He's gonna S1 somebody for decent damage, I think. Yeah. Wow, that's a lot of damage. It's a huge. That's a lot of. Um, that's like damage. That's a lot of crit damage on the um, on him. So she's not fully healed, which is good. Means I can do this. I can do this again. Uh, I, you can't get lucky all the time, right? <clears throat> um, basically, he's controlled my um, S10 A, which is kind of the problem I had was like. For one, I got the speed debuff, right? But the problem is she's got like 130 something. So on a basic level, she's got way too little speed to be playing uh, RTA with. Um, Guild War and uh, regular arena, it's decent, but uh, here it's not something you want. You want to be that low. We'll just hit you. And of course, I got the uh, second attack on her, and then she has it up again. So, there you go. So, this is kind of what you want. You want a high, a decently high effectiveness, high speed, and high survivability um, uh, Tenebria, for those of you out there who were thinking about that build. Uh, so now she's just going to S1, yeah. I don't think uh, Dizzy can beat this, but we'll see. I mean, Dizzy and her. Because the thing is, she has a counter, so the more I focus the counters into her, the more irritating it's going to be for her, for him. Uh, she's gonna S1 because she doesn't want to wake up the Tenebria unless, yeah, she's gonna S1. Uh, so I basically get to do this. Uh, I, I lost anyways, I think I should just leave, but I want to see how this plays out a little bit. Uh, she has her S3 up again. Of course, is irritating. Is she, was that a counter? Is that a counter set Tenebria? That's insane. But yeah, so then this happens. So, more than the Charles, I should have hit um, her. But that was sort of my fault. Or brought some healing on my own into this. But of course, that was my um, my fault there. Uh, let's go take a look at what we have here. Wow, she died. Damn, that is a lot of damage coming out of that. So that's fine. Uh, you got it, bro. The sound, the the music cuts out and the sound kind of goes. So it's, it's really weird. It's really trippy. Uh, so it's looking like I'm not gonna make it uh, this time. So I guess I'm just gonna be stuck in uh, Challenger, uh, which is fine. <clears throat> I really dislike the um, the RTA decay thing. It it's like yeah, it's just really irritating. This game just has like a weird knack of forcing you to play things you don't really want to play. It's like I don't really want to play um, RTA, right? But you kind of have to because well. Uh, well, shit, what happened? Uh, let's see, he took that, so I think I'm gonna do... I'm taking you. And, uh, I'm taking... <clears throat> Maybe I'll take you. I think I'm gonna hold off on that, though. I'm gonna take you, maybe. Or maybe even... Yeah, I think I'm just gonna take you. Where are you? 
Okay, so he doesn't know what kind of damage I'm bringing in yet. I don't even know what damage I'm bringing in yet, to be honest with you. <clears throat> okay. So here's what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to bring you... And where is... And you. And then my last pick is going to be Challenger Dom. I think I'm going to drop this. It's the one thing I don't really want to worry about. So he might hit my uh, Basar. Oh, he didn't actually hit the Basar. Very interesting. So I think I'm taking first turn. I mean, that... Uh, let's see. Who's going here? You're going there. You're going here. And you're going... You're not going there. You're going here. I think uh, most people are running a lot of speed on their... <clears throat> uh, ML Violets. Let's see what uh, what this guy's got here. Does he have more than 223 speed? He did not, so let's do this. <clears throat> let's do... Let's do this, get everybody the defense buff. If I don't miss... I missed, so that's fine. Um, just I wasn't wondering about the... Uh, Uh, I'm a violet here, but that's fine. Okay, so let's see if I can kill this SSB with a soul burn. I probably won't be able to, but it's fun to dream, isn't it? Yeah. Now that is a lot of, like, defense. Specifically defense. Uh, do I want to S3 here? If I S3, I'm giving Charles his S3, but that's fine. See if I, I think I should get, uh, I think, uh, what's her name? Yeah, she's gonna get boosted. So I think what he's gonna do here is he's just gonna hit the, um, C Dom, because she doesn't have, for one, she doesn't have a defense barrier. Defense, yeah, a defense barrier. Not defense barrier, um, uh, a defense barrier buff right i don't know why i lost the word there so we're at like 32 minutes i think i'm just gonna like cut it out here or i'm um, gonna this will be the last one and charles just stands around doing nothing of course uh, i think he's gonna s3 him uh for 14 was that 14k he's only got like 14k so yeah it's just gonna kill him which is fine oh he didn't that's weird it's kind of suspicious actually Okay, so what's Charles? Ah, Charles, come on! He was right there, all you had to do was attack him. Let's just hit you. And I got the defense break. Ugh. Let's see what, who he's gonna hit. Okay, that's fine. He's gonna S... She's gonna S1, I think. This, has she S3'd? Oh, she's, I think she's S1 the whole time. Which is good. Okay, good, good. Let's kill you. I think he's on Holy Sacrifice. Uh, he's not. Unless it, it just didn't proc. That's very interesting. Let's just do this. This would be really funny. Oh, okay. He left. So this is about as far as I go. Um, 192. I'd call that like the cusp of champion. Gosh damn, that's so infuriating. I really dislike um, the way this ranking system is set up. Uh, but yeah, that's fine. Um, hopefully uh, some, somebody learned something from this. Um, if anything, it's just for on my sake, uh, maybe build like a tankier Tenebria. Uh, maybe more speed and more just defensive stats. But yeah, um, hopefully somebody learned something from this. Uh, looking forward. Um, be interesting. I like the, uh, there was a patch that came out. Uh, the main thing I took from it was I like the, uh, the arena season thing, the, the blind part at the end, which is really good. Cause I mean, if, if anybody 
are seeing this, um, chances are you probably subscribed to Warbolt already, and he made a video about like uh, the colluding and all the stuff that goes on at the uh, top ends of Legend. Uh, so anything that kind of helps like assuage that, because you're never going to fix that. I mean, people are just going to be like, oh, that's the person I know or, or whatever. Uh, but anything you can do to sort of assuage that I think is good. Um, the other thing is, I do wonder why it's not um, always uh, blind. Like, why do you get to know ahead of time at all? Like, I think it'd be better if you just didn't have that at all. I don't know, but maybe I'm just like... Like, there'd be less colluding going on if there was more um, randomness in the uh, arena. Like, if any of you... Obviously, I have a, I have a lot of Fire Emblem Heroes pl gameplay on my channel. Um, I like the way they handle their uh, arena, because it's like... You just have to do, I mean, I, I really just like the pay to win way it's designed, but I like everything else about it where you just have to do your seven run thing and then, you know, you move forward from there. Um, yeah, like it's just like, like I said, seven runs to get your placement. And then on top of that, like you can't really decide who you're going to attack. You just get matched up with people randomly. So there's no way for like the top players to sit around like farming other people or, or farming each other without, you know, all that stuff. So, um, or just keeping people out of legend because of whatever reason so that's kind of like i really do enjoy that and it also means that rankings can be more stable like if you are in legend limiting how many people can attack when they can attack kind of makes people's like positions not move as much uh, but maybe some people like that i mean some people I, I really don't enjoy having to like climb into legend constantly um but you know like i said some people don't seem to mind it too much um it's just the way uh the game works i guess uh, but yeah, so anyway, that's enough of that. Um, like I said, hopefully it wasn't too uh, too boring, this one.